When you drive into downtown East Lansing, you're greeted by vacant rundown buildings on the west side of Grand River Avenue, but that's going to change. All the blighted buildings will come down this year, the first one next month. Fox 47's Ann Perret breaks down the demolition plans. What was once a small bank has stood vacant for 10 years now. There is no purpose for that building. It's been an eyesore. The two-story building at 303 Abbott consists of some boarded up windows, a crumbling old drive through and an inside that's falling apart. Not a great view for diners at Dublin Square. Well, we have our guests that sit on the patio and it just looks like a burned out building. Um, we have a few of them, so I think it's, yeah, I think it's a great thing that it's coming down. General Manager Dan Tyler says the demolition is long overdue. If we stand still, we go backwards. And right now, I think the city of East Lansing, for the most part, is standing still. But City Council says they haven't had a choice because whoever owned what was also a bank on the corner of Grand River was tying up the previous deal. And that has finally been sold to a new developer who has plenty of resources to develop. So we're optimistic that something will happen in the next couple years. Once the building is demolished, this property will actually be split into two parts. This section on Albert will join the road to straighten it out, and the other half will most likely join the development of the building on the corner. Hopefully they're going to build things that we want, things like retail, restaurant, um, hotel. I don't think it matters anything but that anything but that to create a new view as you enter the city and give a boost to the economy in East Lansing and Perrette Fox 47 News. The city council condemned the other abandoned buildings on the block. Demolition of 303 Abbott starts July 11th and is expected to take two weeks.